This is still day one of my thrifting extravaganza with Melody. Are you ready to see what I got at garage sales? Let's get started. I love getting good deals at garage sales. How about you? I have my counter covered again. If you didn't see day one, be sure to check it out. I should say video number one because this is still from day one. So let's jump right in. The first garage sale, I think, that we went to, I found a whole huge box of brass. And actually, it wasn't in a box. It was all laid out on a table. And I asked the guy how much for the candlesticks, and he wanted me to take all of the brass. So I ended up with all this brass for $5. I got these cool candlesticks. I think this one's a trumpet. And then I'm a little lost. I don't know what these are, <laughs> but I got all of these. And there's only one of these sconces. But I thought it was kind of cool. Got that. And this unlitted heart box. And then I got some plates here. I've never tried to sell anything like this. Here's the back. There's a little plate hanger. There's two of them of this size with fruit on and the back is kind of tarnished on that one as well. And then these big ones. This one has the basket of fruit. Actually they're exactly the same. So we got all of this brass for five dollars. I found so many great things I loved today. I found this for two dollars. It's an I, no, it's not empty. I was gonna say it's an empty one. I have these in there, and it's in really good shape. There's not any rust on it, and I have sold this one before, so I'm confident I can sell it again. This was a nostalgia item for me. Does anybody remember the Hello Kool Aid? They had a big pitcher. And then they had these cups and I think they change color when you put liquid in them. So this has a problem. It's really sticky. You know how Tupperware can get sticky. So I'm not sure what I can do to get that stickiness to go away. It was 50 cents and I will be putting that in my booth. So if you have any tips for me how to get that stickiness off, I have already washed it in hot soapy water. It is some better, but it's still sticky. Did you have those when you were a kid? I think we had the pitcher. Next, I found two of these. These are made by the Bystool Company. Are you ready to see something cute? Oh, look how cute they are. There's two of them exactly the same. So the part that hooks after you get it open is still intact. These are very, very these are in very, very good condition. Unfortunately, there's not a date on them, so I'm not able to tell if they're actually vintage or not, but they are super cute. This was a favorite item. Look at these adorable salt and pepper shakers when pigs fly. <laughs> I couldn't find anything wrong with them and they were $2. This was a cool item. It says Harry Potter on it. It's a little mini cauldron and it has the spoon in it. And that's, that's about it. On the bottom, it's microwavable and dishwasher safe. It was made in China. Um, it's by Warner Brothers Entertainment. There's not a date on it. I did look this up on eBay and they are going for an okay price. All right, did you have any Avon pins when you were a little girl? Look at this. I found this at, it was actually an estate sale when we were out garage sailing. It's called Chicken Little, and it's one of their fragrance pins. So I love that it was still in the box. I got this for $1. Look how cute. Let me open it up and show you. This one has the perfume on the back, and I envision... Ooh, that's strong. I envision using this on a tiered tray or on my shelf. Let's see if there's a date on that. 1975. And what's the scent? Hmm. 
doesn't say, and I'm not smelling it again. <laughs> I think it's pretty strong and yucky. But I didn't buy it for the perfume. I bought it for the cute factor. All right, this next item I was so thrilled to find. Look how adorable this is. I'm going to read you the front. It says, Pluto, if found, please return to Mickey Mouse. So I think that's darling. And that is actually attached to the front and also here on the top. And it's in pretty good shape as far as the string. I wish I, I could find a date on that. It's made in Thailand and 100% polyester, but it doesn't have a date on it. So I was really happy to find this. I think I will probably sell it in my booth. Another $1 item. I always look for these willow tree sculptures or figurines. This one was the angel, is the angel of patience, and it's $1. So I will be putting that in my booth. I've had good luck with them. Has anybody else had good luck with selling willow tree or do you collect them yourself? Okay, have a couple of 50 cent items here. You know, I love candles. We'll check these out. They have ghosts on. The ghosts are carrying little jack-o'-lanterns. They're in perfect condition because they're brand new. And these were made in China, so they could be vintage. Uh, there is a UPC code on. I don't know how old they would be, but I'm keeping those. This next item is an item to sell. Look how cute this brass giraffe is. I found this at a garage sale for 50 cents. Now, you might remember, if you watch all my videos, I found a similar little candle from Bath & Body, and it, was, it had something to do with coffee scent, and I didn't like it. So this one is the Vanilla Caramel one from Bath & Body. Mm, it smells heavenly. I've had it before, and it is brand new. So for 50 cents, that's a good buy. It doesn't have a price on, but I would think these would probably go for 8 to $10 maybe even more, I'm not sure. Some more brass, I found this for 25 cents. It says, do it now. And it's a little thing that you've set on your desk and you can put your papers, your important papers in it. And I did look that up on eBay and there's some pretty good comps on that. This next item is staying with me. I think this is just adorable. I'm collecting these little plastic bucket type things and I love the small ones. This one was a quarter and let's see what it says on the bottom. It says made in China and I don't see a date but I'm happy to add that to my collection for my tiered tray or my shelf unit. Another quarter item. Look at this cutie pie. It's a little plastic egg that it's it has like a decoupaged look to it. Just love those ears. And I think it was made that way for sale. I don't think somebody crafted it, but super cute for a quarter. All right, one of my biggest tips for garage selling is always check the free box. I found some goodies there. I have four different items to show you from different free boxes. And this one, I need your opinion. I found this cute little angel when I got home, I noticed it was broken on the bottom and it had duct tape on it. So what do you think I can do with her, if anything, to salvage her? I would love to know your opinions. And this was in the free box. I think it's so cute. I, at first I thought they were vinegar and oil cruets, but as you can see, they are open at the bottom. And then they have little candles and holders. Now the candles don't match, unfortunately, but hey, what do you want for free? So this one's kind of like a round ball, and then the other one's a little votive candle. Candle. So that's the holder and just a little candle set. So, ooh, don't break your free item, Carol. <laughs> I think that's darling. So I'm going to clean that up until it sparkles. And I will be putting that in my booth. And maybe I'll be able to find 
matching votive candles before I do that. All right, then I found this cute little blue elephant and I just thought he was precious. It's kind of like a rubbery material, not breakable. So that'll be going in my booth. Either that or on my miniature shelf. I actually decided to keep that blue elephant and I put him here. He's in my den on this little unit on my desk where I have some cute little items. And then I got this whole bag of clip chips or chip clips, I mean, and this one's magnetic. So somebody had those in the free box. So let's talk favorites. I definitely think this was my favorite item. And let's see, I have a couple runner ups. <laughs> I love the pig salt and pepper shakers. And I also love the Halloween jack-o'-lantern little basket or little bucket. So I would love to know what your favorite item is. And have you gone garage selling lately and found any great treasures you want to share with us in the comments? Feel free. I'd love to hear. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that below. Keep watching for more of our thrifting extravaganza. Melody was here for four days and we thrifted all four days. And if you need to get caught up, I'll link the first video. Actually, I also made another video from the day that she surprised me. And if you missed that, you'll want to go back and watch because it was with Amy at Yoso Boho and Cindy from Mimi's Treasure Cottage. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. This is still day one of my thrifting. <laughs> this is still day one of my thrifting. Oh, goodness.